hello guys today in this video i am going to talk about how we can call api in javascript using xml http request so the first thing what we will do we will call api to get all employee so here you can see this is the return code which i am going to use to call the api and here you can see this is going to be get method and this is the api the hyperlink is the api url and i'm going to call it so let's move to the sublime editor here and here you can see this is the written code in html with javascript so here i have taken one simple button is this is the button and it is having id json convert and when i will click on this button it will call this api this sorry the, not the api the method and inside the method i will call the api so let's let, let's copy the code to get all employee so this is the code what i'm going to use so i have just put it here and let me right click on this and open it in the browser so now you can see this is the page and here we are having a button and on this button click i am going to call the api and let me also open the console here so that we can check the response what we will get from api because you can see here i am logging the three things here the first thing is status which is going to be the 200 or something else okay and this is going to be the response header and this is going to be the body okay so now let's move to browser let me click on this so now you can see i have got the status as 200 and here i have got the response header and here this is the body section which i have got from the api so you can see i am successfully able to call the get all employee api so this api is returning all the details of the employee and here i have created one object of xml http request here and this line i am calling using this line i am calling them api and once after getting the successful or something else the response it will hit this function and inside this function i have checked the ready state request to 4 and then this should be returned in the return in the log okay so in the same way now i am going to call another api to get the employee data using the employee id so you can see here in the url i am passing in to after employee but in the earlier url there is nothing in the parameter okay so, so what we can do we can just go ahead and here i need not to copy the complete code i just need to copy this line of code and let me put it here in the so that's it so now everything is going to be the same so now let me go ahead in the browser and let me refresh this so now nothing is in the console and let me click on this button call api using axios here you can see now again i got the success 200 status but this time i am getting detail of only one user here you can see this is just one id detail which is two right so i am getting the user id it is a detail of id2 okay so now 
the next API what I'm going to call is create employee so this API I am going to call and here are some differences from other API because you can see here this is method is going to be the post and here I need to create one more like um, object in, in JavaScript here you can see employee REQ at the bottom and I need to pass that in the send method parameter so let's move to the sublime and I need to change a little bit here so let me copy the code from here the text or the notepad plus plus and here this is the code written for the create employee but I just need to change this method so let me go ahead and put it here and the next thing what I need to do is to copy the URI of the API so I will I will add this notepad in the description section the link will be there you can click on that link and you can go to the notepad okay so you will not need to worry okay so here now I need to copy this and let me put it here so I have created that as well and now I need to pass this employee REQ object into the parameter okay as a parameter in the send method so now it will call the create employee api okay and we are all set and now just let me go ahead and refresh the page after saving okay, the changes so now again let me click on the same button here so here you can see now i again got the status 200 and here i got the header section and here i got the body and inside body you can see this is the user id what i have created right now okay so like this you can also call the post method or any post api using the javascript and now let's move to the next api and here you can see the next api is delete method so you can see how we can go ahead and delete okay so now let me again go to the notepad here and let me copy this delete employee but before going to delete i would like to first explain about the put method here okay i had missed this so let me uh, explain this as well here so in this put method there is just two different thing you can see here the method is put here and the uri is changed so let me go ahead and copy the uri here the change you and here you can see i am passing here the employee id in the url so let me copy here first and let me paste so here you can see 21 is the employee id so let me just leave it as it is or I can put it here anything else like 22 or only 2 it can be anything but these user or employee need to be registered okay make sure that okay and here also I need to change it as put so here I have also changed the method of the API So now let me go ahead and here it will also remain same or I can change if you want ok let me change it to 25 so I have saved the changes and now let me go to the browser and hit let me hit the refresh button here so as you can see now the page is refreshed and again let me click on this call api using the choose button so here you can see 
again i got 200 status and here you can see the message record has been updated okay so like this you can also call the put api using the javascript okay and the final method is the delete method so again now let me go ahead to the notepad here first so here i just need to copy the uri because everything is going to be same only the uri and the method and the request should will be different so now let me go to sublime and here i will put the this uri of the delete and here i will put the delete method okay and i need not to put it or pass it here because it does not require any body also let me remove this so that's all what we need to do so let me save it and run it in the browser so let me refresh the page again and let me again click this button here you can see now again i got the success status and here you can see the data id is 22 and it is deleted now you can see success record has been deleted successfully so we can call all these apis having different different type of methods like get put post and delete so let me show you again the api by calling all those api using the postman so here you can see this is the create and now i am going to create a new employee here so let me click on send so you can see employees now created and we have we already called the same api using the uh, web application okay using javascript and now let me get the same api using the IP, like by passing the employee id here so here just i need to pass it and I'll, I'll let me inform you one thing like all the api are the dummy api these api are just for testing okay so okay now let me call this api to get all employee you can see we have got the all the employees okay and this api is going to be used for updating anything okay so i'm going to update the detail of this you uh, employee and this employee id is having 21 here and let me click on send so you can see here record has been updated successfully okay now the is updated as well as the name is also updated and i i will again delete the same user here so let me go ahead and click on 20 put 21 so this method is going to delete the employee here you can see now 21 employee id is deleted okay so like this you can call all the api using javascript so that's all in this video thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel